So now we're going to be looking at simple interest. And what is simple interest? Simple interest is a quick and easy method of calculating the interest charge on a principal. And what does this mean? So for example, let's say you go to a bank now and you want to save a particular amount of money. Let's assume you plan to invest 10,000 Naira or you plan to save 10,000 Naira. The money that you plan to save is referred to or invest is referred to as a principal. Now, the bank tells you that it's going to give you interest on the amount you deposited and they're going to give you the interest rate. So, let's say the bank decides to give you an interest rate of 5%. So, what this means is that at the end of every year, they are going to give you 5% of your principal as interest. Now, time denotes the duration in which you want to keep the money. So, if you want to keep the money for 5 years, 10 years, then you get more interest depending on how long you are willing to keep the money. So, let's assume you want to keep the money for 10 years. So, how do we calculate the interest rate or the simple interest on this kind of investment? So, as we see from the formula, simple interest is given as the principal times the rate times time over 100, where SI is simple interest, principal is P, R is the rate, and T is the time in years. It's very important to take note that the time is in years. So, for example, if I'm giving a question in terms of months, I have to convert it to years. For example, if I'm told that the investment will last for 30 months, then I have to convert it to years by dividing by 12. So, 30 months is the same thing as one fourth of a year. So, you take note the units must be in year. And the reason why there is an 100 at the denominator is because of the rate. Remember when we talked about converting percentage to fraction, to convert a percent to fraction, you divide by 100. And because the rate is usually given in percentage, you have to divide it by 100 to convert to fraction. So let's work out what this would be. So the simple interest in this case is equal to the principal, which is 10,000, times the rate, which is 5%, times the time, which is 10 years over 100 so you can easily work this out zero counts to zero this counts to this so you are left with a thousand times five which is equals to five thousand naira so that means at the end of 10 years you would have gotten an interest of five thousand naira so that is a simple interest but you might be asked to calculate the total amount of money you will get at the end of 10 years if you plan to cash out so the total amount is given by the principal that you originally invested then plus the interest that you have gained so in this case if i decide to cash out at the end of at the end of 10 years the total money i will obtain will be 10000 plus 5000 which is equals to 15000 so now let's look at one more example in detail so now this question says a man invested five thousand for nine months at four percent. What is the simple interest? So I should mention that any time you see me solve a question or an example in which there are options there, it means that that question has been gotten from jump pass question. So this is an actual jump pass question. So we know our principal we are given to be five thousand. And we know that our rate is 4% and we know that the time is 9 months and as I've told you, the months must be in years. So we have to convert to years and we divide, do that by dividing by 12. So to the lowest term, this 3 will go in 9, 3 and 3 will go in 12, 4. So I, I cannot calculate the simple interest which is the principal times rate times the time over 100 and that will be 5,000 times the rate which is 4 times the time which is 3 over 4 years over 100 so 4 will cancel 4 and 2 zeros will cancel this 2 zeros so we are left with 50 times 3 which is equals to 150 
So A is the answer to the interest that the man will gain at the end of nine months is 150 Naira. Now you can see why it is important not to forget to convert the months to years because if you have written it as nine years directly, what would have meant was that he was skipping it for nine years and not nine months. So you must take note to always ensure that your time unit is in years. Now let's check out another uh, example. So this example is pretty straightforward. It says, at what rate will the interest on 400 Naira increase to 24 in three years? We're calling it simple interest. So we are told that we are investing an amount of 400 Naira. And you intend to get an interest of 24 Naira in three years. So at what interest rate is this possible? So this is pretty straightforward. So we know that our simple interest is equal to our principal times rate times time over 100. But in this case, the rate is the unknown, what we are trying to find. So I make that this way to formula. We know our simple interest is 24 is equal to our principal, in this case is 400 times the rate, then times Time is three years over 100 so if I cross multiply then I have 400 times R times TV is equals to 2400 so this is same this 1200 R is equals to 2400 if I divide both sides by 2400 or 1200 rather then I'm left with 2%. So the interest rate must be set at 2% for me to get an interest of 24 on a principal of 400 in three years. So the correct answer to this question is B. So that pretty much sums up all you need to know with regards to simple interest.